Two people are dead, two suspects on the run tonight after the city's latest shooting this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Mike Jackson. Investigators believe the victims knew their killers, but the motive is still a mystery tonight. It happened just after 2 o'clock behind the Enterprise rent a car on Tucson Road in the Independence Village Center Shopping Plaza. Two cars pulled into the parking lot, but only one would leave. NBC 4's Ted Hart has been following the developments of the story all afternoon. He is live tonight at Columbus Police Headquarters with the latest information. Ted? And Mike, uh, detectives say it's not clear yet what the motive was for these shootings today, although they say it does appear that the individuals involved knew one another. So, yeah, now the search is on for these two suspects, a young man, a young woman, who made their getaway from the scene in a silver Chevrolet. As word got out, friends and relatives of one of the victims gathered to grieve. This was his car, a Dodge Charger, given to him, according to relatives, by his father. Today, the car was a crime scene. Detectives say the driver of the Charger, together with a passenger, pulled into the parking lot behind Enterprise Car Rental on Tusing Road. Another car with two people pulled in at the same time. There was a brief conversation, then the male suspect from the other car leaned into the Charger with a gun. Based upon what we see, the uh, suspect reached inside the vehicle and opened fire. The passenger was dead. The driver, a graduate of Pickerington Central High School and a student at Columbus State, was rushed to the hospital where he died. Heard a few gunshots, see some people run. At the Groomsman Barbershop, they say this shooting is out of character for the neighborhood, but they say it seems to be happening everywhere. It's kind of like norm now. It's sad to say, but it's kind of norm. You don't want it to happen around where you stay or where you work, but it's kind of the norm now. Detectives hope to find new details from area business surveillance cameras and from a thorough search of the car. We're just going to take the whole vehicle and preserve it, and we're going to take it to the, uh, our evidence so that we can go through the vehicle uh, inside another location so that we can preserve everything that's in there. And police caution that the two suspects on the run should be considered armed and dangerous. And uh, so if you know who they are or if you see that car, they say call police, call 911, or call Crime Stoppers with as much detail as you can. Live at Columbus Police Headquarters, Ted Hart, NBC4. Thanks so much, Ted. Columbus Police say the two suspects, a man and a woman, left the scene in a car. Witnesses describe that vehicle as a silver Chevy Malibu with possible license plate GGG. 5326. Once again, it was a man and woman who was seen operating that vehicle. Police ask that if you know of their whereabouts or who those folks may be, you can call 911. Stay with NBC4, continuing coverage of the story, including the identities of the victims and any arrest. You can also catch up on our website.